And welcome to Letters and Numbers, the puzzle party that always has the numbers but is never political, unless it appears as a nine letter word, of course. So let's do a meet and greet with our two power brokers. Firstly, the member for maths, who always represents Lily Cerner. Hi, Alison. Hello, Lily. Now, actually, is there much of a link between politics and maths? Oh. Numbers is a vital element of politics. It's, you know, the numbers behind um, the economy and, without a doubt, statistics. The sampling and the extrapolating. So, maths, politics, like that. Yeah. OK, let's crunch some numbers tonight, Lily. Welcome. And a man who's liberal with his words, but never labours a point, <laughs> David Astle. Hi, Richard. Thank you. Uh, political animal. <laughs> well, I promise not to cross the floor, and uh, I will be independent here with my green ally. <laughs> Welcome, David. And two people hoping for a positive result tonight, our contestants. Firstly, our carryover champion, who's back for his third night, customs broker, Greg Beers. Hello, Greg. Hello, Richard. Welcome back to the, the carryover champion chair. Thank you. You were telling us a little bit last night about your four-wheel drive outback adventures, but sometimes those adventures in the wild are not without their hazards, are they? That's, that's for sure. Three years ago, we were driving up the Inaminka track and I uh, stopped at a campsite and I jumped into a uh, natural spring at the campsite and dislocated my shoulder. Ooh, ouch. And uh, Yeah, so... Uh, my wife and friends eventually got in contact with the flying doctor and they instructed a, a local to uh, give me an injection of morphine. He'd uh, previously injected a camel one, so that was his qualification. <laughs> you didn't put up as much argument as the camel. <laughs> That's right. But uh, eight hours later, I was on the plane and uh, in uh, Wyala Hospital and it was back in place and uh, I was fine then. Oh, well, I'm glad I've had a good outcome, but yeah. uh, a little bit dangerous out there in the wild sometimes. Not quite so dangerous here in this civilised studio. Welcome back tonight. Thank you. And here to challenge Greg is Rosemary Stafford, a public servant for the Department of Justice in the Reporting Services branch. Hello, Rosemary. Hi, Richard. Now, that certainly sounds like a, a mouthful of a, a job mouthful. description. Yes. But what do you do? Um, we record what happens in the courts, and then it get, it, that's recorded digitally, and then we transcribe them into a transcript to, for the judges and, and for the lawyers and things like that. Very practical and yes. very useful. Yes. Good luck tonight. Lovely to have you with us. Thank you. So, please welcome them both warmly, our contestants, Greg Beers and Rosemary Stafford. <laughs> and I hope you've got your pens and paper at the ready as we begin tonight's letters game. And, uh, Greg, would you get us started, please? OK. Can I have a consonant, please? Thanks, Greg. P. And a vowel. E. And another vowel. A. And now a consonant. R. A consonant. D. And a vowel. E. Another vowel. O. And a consonant. N. And finally another consonant. And last letter, T. Thank you, Lily. Here's our first 30 seconds. First word for the night, how many for you? Uh, six letters. Six, nice start. Rosemary? Seven. Seven? Well, that sounds very hopeful indeed. Greg, your six? Uh, pardon. And your seven, Rosemary? Predate. Predate. Nice start for Rosemary, Great David. Great start, Rosemary. Uh, welcome to the show. Excellent seven to start with. And in fact, uh, I wonder if that uh, surgeon operated on you in Wyala, which is a possible eight, and of course Wyala, anagram of Hallway, one of my favourite towns. <laughs> I think your brain is working at full speed right from the start of the night, though. Call the doctor. <laughs> nice work, but a great start for Rosemary. Seven points. 
more letters without delay and uh, this time rosemary it's your first selection on the show okay thanks richard hi lily can i please have a vowel thanks rosemary e and another vowel a and a consonant n and another consonant g and another consonant s and a vowel please e and another vowel I and a consonant. P and another consonant, please. And M. Thank you. And here's the clock. Your first selection, how many did you get? Five. Five that time, Greg? Seven. Okay, let's uh, hear the five first from you, Rosemary. Games. And Greg? Seeping. Wow. Seeping. That's a nice one, David. It is. And I won't even go back to the operating table because it doesn't deserve <laughs> to. But it's an excellent seven. Well done, Greg. Uh, a good counter. And uh, something that we deal with on this show, and that's Enigmas, which is another seven. Nice one. But well done, Greg. Seven points. So with the scores level pegging, it's now time to get mathematically minded with the numbers game. One contestant will choose the numbers, then both will try to get as close to the randomly generated target number as they can. And again, just 30 seconds in which to do it. Greg, your choice, please. Can I have two large and four small numbers, please? Thanks, Greg. Two large and four small. And the first set of numbers for tonight. Three, nine, seven... Nine and the two large, 25 and 50, and the target number is 566. Thanks, Lily. Let's head there. that time? Um, 566. 566, right, on target. Well done. What about you, Rosemary? Nowhere near it. Nowhere near? No. Okay, <laughs> not to worry. Greg, take us through your method, please. Okay. 9 plus 3 is 12. 9 plus 3 is 12. Times 50 is 600. 550 is 600. Uh, subtract 25. Take away 25 is 575. Yeah, and then subtract 9. Take away 9. 566. <laughs> Nicely done, Greg. Right on target. A nice method, Lily. Did you do it the same way? I used the same method. Great approach, and it gave Greg 10 points. So Rosemary's now on 7, Greg on 17. We're heading for our first little break for the night, and uh, your word mix this time is Rang Nods, with the clue, one thousandth male child. Back after this. <laughs> 